GraphQL mutations are operations that modify or change the data on a server. While GraphQL queries are used to retrieve data, mutations allow you to create, update, or delete data. They are defined in a schema just like queries, but are typically used to perform write operations. Let's take a look at the process of implementing a GraphQL mutation using Postman's GraphQL client. In this example, we're going to be using the create person mutation to create an object type of a person that you can send a hello request to. Create person is the name of the mutation. Name and age are the fields that are specified with their required arguments. For example, name is specified by the required argument string. And inside the mutation, you can see that we can hard code our inputs as parameters. Let's see what our output is when we click on query. With Postman, you can also use variables as parameters to build more dynamic use cases. The dollar sign symbol denotes that the field is specified by a variable. Here we can use Postman's variable notation set by curly braces and GraphQL's variable notation set by the dollar sign to set a variable using the before query script. Here we're setting the name before the query is sent as a collection variable. Another way to get creative with mutations is by using random variables to build dynamic testing use cases. Here we are using the faker library, which is inbuilt into Postman to create a person with a random full name and random integers. This gives developers the ability to address diverse edge cases, testing various workloads and thoroughly assess a API's functionality. I hope this video gives you a deeper insight into implementing mutations. Be sure to check out Postman's GraphQL client to learn more ways to work with GraphQL APIs. Yeah.